This week, we have Lorraine Snelling, Jerry B. Jenkins, Veggie Tales, Wanda E. Brunstetter, and an early Christmas present from Liz Curtis Higgs. This is Family Fiction Weekly. Hello, welcome to another installment of Family Fiction Weekly, the official newsletter of FamilyFiction.com. Every week we scour the world for the latest news and information in the world of Christian fiction. No matter what kind of stories you like, if it is written by a Christian and it's fiction, we're going to cover it. So let's get to the news. Lorraine Snelling is the award-winning author of some 70 books, including fiction and nonfiction for adults and also for young readers. Her books have sold more than 2 million copies. Her historical series, Wild West Wind, continues with the latest volume, Whispers in the Wind. Set in the Black Hills of South Dakota just after the turn of the century, Snelling's latest novel once again explores the human struggle and its beautiful triumphs in her signature heartwarming style. For the whole news story, click the link in your newsletter or below this video. Prolific author Jerry Jenkins has written or co-written something like 200 books, including the blockbuster Left Behind series. Altogether, his books have sold nearly 70 million copies. He also has a filmmaking company, Jenkins Entertainment, and he owns the Christian Writers Guild, which aims to train tomorrow's professional Christian writers. His latest novel is The Breakthrough, the third book in his Precinct 11 police series. On our website, Jerry explains how the series has helped him grow as a storyteller, the inspiration for his main character, and what it's like growing up in a cop family. To read the whole Q&A, click the link in your newsletter or below this video. The latest video in the VeggieTales library is The Penniless Princess. In our magazine, we conducted an interview with the director of the video, who explains why he cried the first time he read the script. That interview is now available on our website. Just click the link in the newsletter or below this video. Award-winning author Wanda E. Brunstetter became fascinated with the Amish way of life when she first visited her husband's Mennonite relatives living in Pennsylvania. Her latest title, The Struggle, gives readers insight into what it's like when an Amish couple from Lancaster County takes a leap of faith and moves somewhere new. We recently interviewed Wanda, and she said she hopes readers will realize that the Amish people face many of the same struggles we outsiders do. You can read that interview on our website. Just click the link in our newsletter or below this video. Coming this October from Liz Curtis Higgs, A Wreath of Snow, a Victorian Christmas novella. When the secret of their shared history is revealed, will it leave them tangled in a knot of regret? As warm as a woolen scarf on a cold winter's eve, A Wreath of Snow is a tender story of love and forgiveness wrapped in a celebration of all things Scottish, all things Victorian, and especially, all things Christmas. To watch the book trailer online or for more information about the book, just click the link in our newsletter or below this video. That's it for this week. For more information on any of the stuff we mentioned this week, just click on the link in your newsletter or below this video. In a few weeks, we're going to be announcing a very special contest where you could win a box of VeggieTales stuff. So if you want to win a box of VeggieTales stuff, you want to make sure that you come back and hear about that. In the meantime, please join Family Fiction online at familyfiction.com. We're also on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Google+, and we now have a dedicated channel on YouTube. And uh, as always, we're glad you were with us, and we hope to see you next week. That's YouTube slash user slash Family Fiction. That part, of course, is for people who aren't currently looking at our video on YouTube. So if you're there, then you know, and welcome. I know that there's a shorter version of that, but if you add user, apparently it, it makes it work better in Google or, or something. It's it's a technical thing. Don't don't you don't really have to. I'm probably gonna cut this out. You don't have to worry about it.
I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to just edit this part out. So, uh, where am I going with this? 